Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Montana State Bobcat Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. And today we have what is likely going to be our final off season. I was in the community tab and on Instagram asking, you know, because I was thinking about last year being the final season, but we haven't made it to the national championship game. And we honestly haven't really gotten that close. And so I was asking if maybe we just lay this series to rest now, or we have one more season where we push hard for it. And a majority of people wanted to push hard for one final season. So that's what this last year is going to be about. And it's going to start right here in the off season where we're going to try to build a championship squad. Oh boy. Well, for a team that's looking to make a push for one final season, we're going to be missing a lot of players. First, Freddie Hitchin. He's a free safety. He was kind of backed on the depth chart. As you see, he only had six tackles and a forced fumble. He's going to be going to Idaho. So we're going to face him one time this year. Corey Johnson. I mean, he was the best offensive lineman in the league. Just a sophomore, but he's going to the draft. We're also going to be losing our left tackle, Vincent Dotry. Our line taking a big hit, and Kevin Fuller, despite missing four games this season with an injury, is declaring for the draft. I'd imagine he'd be like a fourth round pick at best. Taking a look at his career, at least his the last two seasons, because it won't show me 2014 for whatever reason. Uh, you can see his total stats on the bottom there. Touchdown to interception ratio, not great. His completion percentage isn't great, but we haven't had a good completion percentage with any quarterback really. And that's something we're going to need to fix this season. Robert Alexander, obviously, I figured he was going to go to the draft as a senior. Uh, I mean, if you even just look at what he did over the last couple seasons, 16 sacks this year, which led the nation. I mean, he had a spectacular year. Might as well declare for the draft. He'll probably be a first or second round pick. Otis Miner is going to be graduating. Adam Frazier, Sean Key, Brad Boyd, Brett Garrett's going to be graduating. Adam Weaver, our little five foot five guard. I still have no idea how he managed to get a guard that little, especially someone who is that little and that good. Anthony Ross, Kevin Ortz, Jesse Shrouder, and Jimmy Kent. I definitely thought he was going to declare for the draft. I mean, he's been really good for us every single season, but for whatever reason, he didn't declare for the draft. Maybe he wants to do something else with his life. Best of luck to you and all you in the future. All right, so I forgot to go look at the list of all the players that we recruited, so I'm gonna have to show you on here. We got ourselves a handful of athletes, including the number two ranked athlete in the nation, Brandon Williams. We went in and snagged him a five-star recruit here, 78 overall, 82 speed. We'll have to see where we're gonna play all these guys. I haven't fully decided yet. I haven't really looked at their attributes yet ellis rice we got him and then sheldon jones all of them look relatively similar at least at first glance here what is their catching throwing uh, i mean ellis rice could play emergency quarterback heck jones could too looks like williams he can tackle uh let's see what, what do they got for like catching catching not great acceleration is pretty good we'll have to see where we're gonna put these guys of course, we got Brett McPherson, five-star quarterback. He's likely going to be our starter this season ahead of Matt Henshaw, only because we're trying to get to a championship this year. Although maybe Henshaw's more ready. I don't know. We, we might have have a little bit of a quarterback battle. Uh, we got a running back, Derek Hughes, 94 speed. Love to see that. And then on the offensive line, of course, with us losing two tackles, we had to go out and get two tackles. And how about two tackles with the same name and same overall? John Jenkins, right tackle and left tackle. Spelled the exact same way. It's just one's white, one's black. I don't know how we managed to get two players at the same position with the exact same name and exact same rating. But hey, I'm going to take it, especially if they're both good. Or I mean, as long as we got one good John Jenkins, I mean, you can't be mad with 50% right there. Guard, we got Allen and Merriman during the in-season recruiting. So we got that all solved there. Center is going to be the same as last season. Did we get any defensive ends? No, no one knew on the defensive line. Josh Atkins, outside linebacker. Even though our linebacking core is still pretty stacked, despite us losing our two best linebackers, we went out and got a couple of the other being Anthony Berry. And finally, we got a new kicker, Reggie Flores, or at least another kicker to be on the roster. He is rated quite a bit lower than Gabriel Fields. 
but uh, I figured, you know, recruiting someone, even a two-star, might be better than a walk-on kicker, although Fields has had some time to develop. Yeah, exact same kick power, and then Fields has slightly better kick accuracy. I think at now, at least for Brandon Williams, his highest rating is a strong safety. That was a position of need for us that we didn't fill during recruiting up until now where we're going to be putting them. And for now, at least we're going to put Sheldon Jones at cornerback. Same's gonna go for Ellis Rice. And for our training results, Tim Thibodeau, the right tackle, went up nine overall points, bringing him all the way up to a 68 overall. He was that low before. Albert Reed is our breakthrough player, going up seven points, really sure enough that center position. Donnie McGee is now an 80, uh, 82 overall. William Dunbar at an 80, he goes up six points. Cronin goes up six. Ryan Carter goes up five. He's a 90 overall. You'll love to see that. Hopefully he can really shore up that run game, maybe get a thousand yard season. Donnie Lewis goes up five points. Kevin Thomas, almost a 90 overall for the defensive end. Barnes up to an 86. You know, we're still LBU here, linebacker university. Dusty Foster is an 84 overall. Brad Wheeler in the middle of the defensive line is now an 84. Demps is an 82. Terrence Davis up to an 80, but he's only probably going to be our third string quarterback. Uh, up to an 80 there. Johnson, 78. Thomas went up. Hunt, uh, Hayden Turner went up four overall. Darren Perry's at 93, making him the highest rated player on the roster. Eddie Fine is almost at a 90. PJ Morris also in the middle of that defensive line. 87 overall. Matt Henshaw went up three. I want to see what went up for him. His throw power went up one. His throw accuracy went up two, making it 90 at both. Henderson goes up three... Ryan Nugent goes up two. He's an 86. Marcus Lumpkin also an 86 now. Terrence Williams an 86. Slater is an 82. Chris Hansen is an 80. Fogel, Gore. Fields goes up two points. Let's, let's see what went up for him and his kicking. Uh, his kick accuracy went up by one, so that's good. Ben Rushing went up two. Ross Lewis went up two. I'm curious what went up for him since he's an athlete. His awareness went up by four. His catch went up by two. I wonder if his passing went up at all. It did not. Cole Hurd went up one. He's up to an 89. Pollard also went up one. Anthony Parquet. And then there's a couple guys that didn't improve at all. So here's a look at our depth chart. As of now, at least the biggest thing right now is the quarterback who's going to start Matt Henshaw the senior who's five points higher or Brett McPherson McPherson's a little bit faster we're used to you know having a little bit more of a mobile quarterback although I did recruit McPherson with him in mind being more of a, a pocket passer the biggest thing here McPherson has a stronger arm 94 as to Henshaw's 90 but Henshaw has 10 more points of accuracy there 90 versus McPherson's 80 everything else is relatively similar i'm thinking for now since you know we're in a win now mode we go with henshaw although obviously mcpherson being a five-star quarterback will definitely i think have a, a shot at the starting job but for now at least uh, it's going to be henshaw let me know who you think should start in the comment section down below uh ryan carter obviously is going to be starting at running back 90 overall now donnie lewis at fullback marcus lumpkin and will black are the top two receivers the rest is kind of not a wash but a kind of interchangeable you got jeff murphy ross lewis and hayden turner who i think could all fit in there at some point and then lefew who is now off of his red shirt season Chris Hansen is our tight end at 80 overall. William Dunbar also in 80. And I think they combined for like, I don't know, how many, like 11 catches last year. Uh, so we definitely need to get the tight ends more involved this season. John Jenkins, one of the John Jenkins at least, is going to be playing left tackle. Marcus Allen at left guard. Center is going to go to Albert Reed. The other guard's going to be Terrence Williams. And then the other John Jenkins on the right side of the line. Defensively, let's see here. I want Mike Long at defensive end. Uh, he's just been producing for us for a number of years now. Uh, two years in a row now, he has five and six X. Not crazy numbers, but I mean solid. On the other side, Kevin Thomas, 89 overall. PJ Morris and Brad Wheeler in the middle of the defensive line. 
For linebackers, again, they're kind of almost interchangeable just because we have so many good linebackers on this team. Ryan Nugent is right now going to be the starter at a left outside linebacker. Middle linebacker goes to Darren Perry. You also have Dusty Foster. You got Demps, Hodges. And on the other side, you have Chad Barnes. But that could all definitely change outside of uh, Darren Perry leading the charge in the middle. Cole Hurd is now going to be playing on the outside with Eddie Fine. Uh, Fogel's going to be playing in the slots. And then for safeties, Anthony Parquette is our free safety. Brandon Williams, the freshman, is going to be our strong safety. Gabriel Fields will still be our kicker because he's 10 overall points higher than the freshman Flores. And Todd Stevens will be our punter. A kick return, I think, yeah, Marcus Lumpkin. I mean, he's a 99 overall. Obviously, I don't want someone like, you know, Lumpkin, Black, or Carter, who are all starters on the offense, to get hurt uh, at all, or especially on special teams. That's where Brad Boyd was so good. Last season was on special teams, but for now at least, Marcus Williams and Will Black will be our kick and punt returners. So for us to be the best, we have to beat the best. And not only just for our strength of schedule, but just for maybe a little bit of a reality check for this Bobcat team. I mean, I honestly think we can compete for the national title, but we gotta be able to beat the other teams that can compete for a national title. That's right, we're gonna be starting off against the defending Ohio State Buckeyes in week one at our place a little bit controversial there uh, the Buckeyes definitely wanted that at their place we got them to come here though as they are ranked number three even though they did just win it all you know I'll take it uh then we're at Texas A&M who went to the last two national championship games winning the first losing the latter to Ohio State in the final seconds of the game then we're going to be hosting the currently number one ranked Iowa they were ranked number two last year didn't make it to the championship game though and then we're going to be at number 10 Purdue before picking up conference play if we can win these four games and they're going to be very tough games but if we can win those games then we know we definitely have a shot at the title this season and also with this being our final season likely I'm not going to bother redshirting anyone we're going to need everybody for this championship run so that's going to be it for the offseason. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the players we got. And as we try to make this final push to a national championship, we are currently ranked number 24 in the nation. So that's, I think, the highest we've ever started a season ranking despite all the big players we lost due to, you know, declaring for the draft or just graduation. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is always very much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.